So how did Earth get its shape? That's a great question, one that um, when we look at other planets and other planetary bodies in our solar system and universe, we notice that they're spherical. How did that happen? What forces are in play? I want you to watch this uh, three-minute video that talks about the formation of our solar system as well as Earth. And then we'll come back and look at how that Long ago, an ancient star exploded, littering space with swirling clouds of the materials it had made while it lived and the heavier metals it created as it died. We know this because we can see similar fields of dust out in space today. They are called nebulae, and they are very beautiful. Every nebula is different, and in our case, the clouds contained nitrogen and oxygen and iron and silica and all the other stuff needed to build a world like ours. Then the tireless force of gravity started to pull it all back together, and the heavy engineering that produces planets began. Vast spirals of dust began to form. And at the center of one of these, a rocky planet called Earth started to take shape. Built of stardust and assembled by gravity. Fast forward 100 million years and it had grown into a giant ball, sweeping up billions of tons of celestial debris. This is where the Earth came from, and therefore how you and I began. So f gravity, the force of gravity, an important force that shaped our planet and our solar system and universe. You know that gravity was something that was discovered or witnessed by Isaac Newton correct when he famously was hit in the head by an apple or he threw an apple up and he said what goes up must come down and that's kind of the superficial look at what gravity was he was a mathematician so he went much deeper than that and it turns out he came up with a universal formula for gravity and how gravity works in the universe and it's really determined by two things the mass of the objects that are involved and the distance between them and it basically says the closer they are together, the stronger the pull. The bigger they are, the stronger the pull. And when you factor those two uh, variables together, it, it creates different gravitational pulls. Well, our Earth has a force of gravity that's directed towards the center. And that pull towards the center is what helps shape the planet into a sphere, because all outer surfaces, every inch of the planet towards the outer surface, even our atmosphere, is being pulled towards the center. And that pull helps shape it into a circular or spherical object. That goes for any object in our solar system. The only ones that it doesn't apply to are asteroids. And the reason why is because asteroids are so small on the scale of um, the universe that the gravity that they create just isn't strong enough, so it doesn't shape them into a true perfect sphere. Now, that doesn't mean that they're not spherical or at least round. They do have rounded parts because they do feel the effects of gravity. But for the most part, all the planets and all the moons and all the stars that, and galaxies that we witness have a spherical shape because of the force of gravity. There's also one other reason why the Earth has a round shape, and um, I'm going to show you why.
So that, boys and girls, was pretty amazing, right? That was a man uh, f flipping pizza dough, so to speak. And that, hidden away, is the reason why the Earth has its shape. If you think of pizza dough, it's flat in the middle, but round and wide on the outer rim. And that's why uh, Baker's uh, spin it is so that it takes on that shape. Turns out the Earth rotates, and because the Earth rotates, it causes the equator to bulge at the center, while also flattening it at the poles. So our Earth, much like pizza dough, as it spins, there's a force pulling outwards. At the same time, there's a force pushing down. So that gives the Earth its spherical shape. Now, the truth is, Earth is not a perfect sphere. If I measure it across the equator, the uh, distance is 12,765 kilometers. But if I, were measure, if I were to measure it from pole to pole, it's only 12,714 kilometers. I know, that's a difference of like 30 kilometers. But the point is that it's slightly um, fatter at the equator and skinnier at the poles. So the name for that is called an oblate spheroid. So the Earth isn't a perfect circle or a perfect sphere. It's kind of flattened at the poles and fatter at the equator. And as a result of rotation, that's why Earth took on its shape. And you can apply that to the planets that are in our solar system and in distant galaxies, and even our sun and other stars. It rotates as well, and therefore it takes on an oblate shape. So those were the two reasons why our Earth has the shape it does. Thanks for watching.